Hello YouTube! Welcome to a brand new series. In this series, I'm going to make knife comparisons, tests and reviews. Mostly, I compare a Victorinox product with a product from another brand. Today, we test the file and the metal zone from the Letterman Charge, the Gerber Diesel, the SOP Power Lock and the Victorinox Swiss Tool. Before we jump into the comparison, let me give you an overview about the different series who are running on my channel. Basically, I have four series. All videos with an orange title in the thumbnail are project videos. That means I craft something with a Swiss Army knife. All videos with a white title in the thumbnail are tip and trick videos. In these videos I'll show you techniques and uses. All videos with a blue title are workshop videos. In these videos I'll show you maintenance and customization tricks. And all videos with a green title are review videos. In this video I'll show you products, tests and comparisons. Before we start with the comparison, let me explain you something important. I make this test with knife from my collection. That means these knives have a different age and they were used to a different degrees. So these tests are not scientific. If a function do not perform as well as another one, this doesn't mean that this tool is not worth to buy it or the brand is bad. But this test can give you a valuable hint which tool is the perfect one for you? Every of these files has a rough side and a fine side. So for testing the file, I will make 10 strokes with the rough side, 10 strokes with the fine side, after we watch what is happened with the screw head and I give you a short feedback. Let's start with the Letterman charge. So now my conclusion to the file performance. I start with the Letterman. <coughs> I'm a little bit disappointed about the performance of the rough side from the Letterman. But I like the idea that you have a diamond file on the other side. With this diamond file you are able to resharp an axe or a knife in the field. So, yes, I'm disappointed from the rough side. I like the fine side. The Gerber Diesel. I'm, I'm positively surprised about 
the performance from the Gerber diesel. As I looked this tool the first time, I was <laughs> very, very critical, so I thought, oh, this is rubbish. But the performance is really, really well from both sides. To the sock. Um, the sock power lock file works okay. What I like on this file is this hole because with this hole you can grab the file from both sides. So if you are right handed or left handed. On the other hand, on the other side, I this hole handicapped me while working. So yes, I'm not a big fan from this file. The best file was the Victorinox one. So you can see that, that the dust, uh, most dust, most aggressivity. Um, yes, this is the winner. Next step is let's test the saw performance. I start again with the Leatherman. The Gerber don't have the saw. Then to the saw. Okay, um, Leatherman and Zog have about the same aggressivity, so this works not perfect, but it works. And uh, the best aggressivity has again the Victorinox one. So if I have the choice between these four files, I would go with the saw and the rough side from Victorinox. And the, and the diamond file from uh, Leatherman. So, <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot for, watch for watching. I hope this was interesting for you. And uh, see you next Friday again. Ciao!